Okay, let me first start by thanking uh, Nicholas uh, Okoye um, for inviting me to come and meet one of the areas of young, intelligent Niger Nigerians. The truth of the matter was actually supposed to be there, here. Um, actually, it was a formal two days ago to start in for Coyote, um, and I'm really happy that I decided I accepted to, to do that. One, I, I coming across the club of people in this hall, I'm actually caught between happiness and sadness. Um, happiness because I've gone to several African, with African countries and I know that they may never muster enough as many young people as you have in this hall in the whole of your country. But then, sadness because most of the people in this hall are excluded from the economic space in this country. Particularly, not because you don't have the educational background. Virtually everybody here is educated up to graduate level, but we don't have a structure that supports your young people to realize their full potentials. And that's why we're having a lot of challenges with our society. So the challenge we, we really have to face today is that, of course, a lot of times we emphasize on the physical infrastructure deficit. Uh, we don't have power, we don't have roads. But beyond that, there are also other structures we could put in place to some extent moderate the impact of the weaknesses we have in our fiscal infrastructure. If we look at the architecture in the financial services industry, you find that the architecture of the financial services industry is not designed to serve the Nigerian culture and society. And what do I say this? Why do I say this? If you, our banking system, for instance, is collateral driven, we need to evolve a system that will allow young people, young men and young women to assess, assess credits under very novel structures. I'm happy that uh, when the, um, uh, the MD of Diamond Bank was speaking, he did say that, look, you can actually assess credit from Diamond Bank without 100% collateral. But unfortunately, the rules today define that lending without 100% collateral is actually a crime. We need to look at all those things. We need to ask ourselves, why is it America not just entrepreneurs? The young men and young women who set up Facebook, Google, these are young people who came together and they were able to assess funding. If they did not assess fund funding, they wouldn't have anything like Facebook. They wouldn't be Google. And America is one culture that en encourages entrepreneurs because they have created a financial system that supports those entrepreneurs, such as private equity firms that will lend, provide funding, not just provide funding, because when you find out, when I interact with young people who have a lot of novel ideas, you find that they have some weaknesses. Such weaknesses are mostly in management competence. So you find that even if you give them money, they may not be able to use that money to drive their dream to a successful economic outcome. So one of the things we need to look at is can we redesign our financial architecture so that we have an incubator unit in financial institutions that when funds are provided to young entrepreneurs like you seated in this hall, there are also people who are competent enough to provide them management and leadership guidance. That way, you don't just provide the funds.